In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Two independent random variables x and y have the same probability density function. And this is the function that is given to us. We have to find the variance of their sum. That is, we have to find the variance of x plus y. And these are the options that are given to us. First of all, note that in the probability density function, we are given a constant c. And we don't have this constant C in the options that are given to us. So this should give you a hint that first of all, we have to find the value of C. So let's find the value of C. Well, for this function to be a legitimate probability density function, the integration of f of x dx from 0 to 1 should be equal to 1. This implies that the integration of c multiplied by 1 plus x dx from 0 to 1 should be equal to 1. And this implies that the integration of c plus cx dx from 0 to 1 should be equal to 1. Well, integrating this, we get that this is equal to cx plus cx square divided by 2. And we have 0 here and 1 here and this is equal to 1. And now solving this we get c plus c divided by 2 minus 0 is equal to 1. This implies that 3c divided by 2 is equal to 1. And this implies that c is equal to 2 divided by 3. So this is the value of c. So now we can write that f of x is equal to 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 1 plus x when x is in this range and 0 otherwise. Now let's find the variance of x plus y. Note that we are given in the equation that the random variables x and y are independent. So we can write Variance of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y plus twice of covariance between x and y. So this is the formula to calculate variance of x plus y where x and y are random variables. But in this case, we are given that x and y are independent. So that means the covariance between x and y will be equal to zero. So this means that the variance of x plus y will be equal to variance of x plus variance of y. Also note that these two random variables, that is the random variables x and y, have the same probability density function. So this implies that variance of x should be equal to variance of y. So this means that variance of x plus y is equal to twice of variance of x. And we know that variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. So this implies that variance of x plus y is equal to twice of expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. So our problem boils down to finding this. To solve this equation, we have to find the expected value of x square and the expected value of x. So first of all, let's find the expected value of x square. We know that expected value of x square is equal to integration of x square multiplied by fx from 0 to 1 dx and this is equal to integration of x square multiplied by 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 1 plus x. This is actually the f of x dx. As 2 divided by 3 is a constant, we can take it outside. So we can write that this is equal to 2 divided by 3 and integration of x square plus x cube dx. This is equal to 2 divided by 3 x cube divided by 3 plus x raised to the power 4 divided by 4 and we have 0 here and 1 here. Solving this we get that this is equal to 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 4 
minus 0. And solving this, we get that this is equal to 7 divided by 18. So expected value of x square is 7 divided by 18. Now let us find the expected value of x. We know that expected value of x in this case is equal to integration of x multiplied by fx and we have to integrate this from 0 to 1 dx and this is equal to 2 divided by 3 integration of x multiplied by 1 plus x dx and we have to integrate it from 0 to 1. This is equal to 2 divided by 3 integration of x plus x square from 0 to 1 dx and this is equal to 2 divided by 3 x square divided by 2 plus x cube divided by 3 and we have 0 here and 1 here and solving this we get that this is equal to 2 divided by 3 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 0 and this is equal to 5 divided by 9. So expected value of x is equal to 5 divided by 9 and expected value of x square is equal to 7 divided by 18. And we know that variance of x plus y in this case is equal to twice of expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. So that means in this case the variance is equal to twice of 7 divided by 18 minus 5 divided by 9 whole square and solving this we get 13 divided by 81. So the variance of x plus y in this case is equal to 13 divided by 81. So that means part b is the right answer and this is all for this question.